Uh, it's not that cold out today. It's about uh, two degrees, but I have not drove the Sherp for over a week. So we got to get the old Obasco heater going. We got a little bit of snow last night. Hopefully, look at this baby a going. So we come back here again, as you remember. Let's turn this switch. Right here. And we go away. So I'll probably leave this go for, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half, somewhere around there. Um, we'll come out, make sure everything's good to go, give her a quick little start, leave the heater on, and from there we will go to the spot. So I find this kind of unique. I actually leave that Wabasco heater running while it's going down the road. But I finally did make it to the lake, and I'm zipping out there, and I did happen to see some folks out there sturgeon spearing. Um, didn't stop and talk with them. I didn't want to disturb anybody. I just wanted to go out and actually try to get to this one ice shove and see what I could do. But in the meantime, I had some folks that just kind of waved me over and started talking to me. And before you knew it, the little boy was up there, up inside of the Sherp, and another fellow was out there videotaping me as we're well, just kind of plopping through some okay. drifts. And maybe there were some ice shoves in there. Okay. I'm not sure. Okay, Silas, right. get in there. All set? Okay. How do you like that, Silas? That Thank was you. pretty good, huh? Well, we got a little bit of an ice shove over here. My guess is that's 20 feet tall.
people. Not a lot of vehicles that I'm aware of that can do this. Well, that pretty much concludes this adventure. Drove past some ice shanties that were out there. Again, it was Surgeon's Peering. Made my way down to the south end of the lake. Had to see the lighthouse. Take care, everybody. Please subscribe.